Because atheism provides nothing. It doesn't bring you hope. It doesn't bring you a sense of individuality. It doesn't bring you a sense of peace. It doesn't bring you, it brings you nothing. It doesn't bring you rationality. It doesn't bring you logic. These are all things that you as an individual value. Hi, Jack. Together for peace. It's me, the Amazing Atheist, responding to little old lowly you. I know you're excited. Try to compress that erection back into your genes, my friend. Because uh, I'm trying to trying to get back into talking to you folks. I've taken a small hiatus from discussing religion with the religious because um, I wanted to get my mind in order, and I didn't have time to be worrying about those things. But don't worry, Jack. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this civil. Fuck you. Oh, sorry, sorry, Jack. Fuck you. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm struggling with some inner de fuck you demons and uh, you know how it goes. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. No, seriously, Jack. Uh, gotta ask you a question. Uh, and this is not a this is not a, uh, designed to be insulting. It's not meant to to just degrade you or whatever. It's it's an honest question. It's honest. I swear to my big fat jiggly man titties that it's an honest question are you, and I want you to answer it if you don't answer it people will be upset are you just stupid or are you willfully ignorant that is my question to you are you stupid is it that you are looking at things and you just don't understand what you see or is it that you understand what you see, but don't like the truth, so you try to make it into something else? <sighs> of course atheism doesn't provide hope. Why would that be the... Why would atheism even feign interest in such a thing? Atheism is nothing more than saying, I don't believe in God. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. It's not a belief system. It doesn't encompass any other aspect of, of our day-to-day -day lives except for that one. It's just the answer to that one question. Now, in our time, that is an important question. Only because so many people have the wrong answer to it. In a world where everyone had the right answer to that question, or most people did, it wouldn't be a very important question. It would be the most inconsequential of all questions. Atheism doesn't have to give hope. It's not the jurisdiction of atheism to go providing hope but you know what? Religion doesn't give any hope either. Because the only hope that religion can give is, is hope derived from lies and mythology. Uh, I mean, hope that is based upon some greater unverifiable truth is identical to hopelessness. Hope is something that comes from the human imagination, from the human capacity to envision a world better than the one that we currently inhabit. And I'm capable of that, and you're capable of that, and it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm an atheist and you're religious. Those things don't enter into it at any point. Those are two rows running parallel to each other, never intersecting. Your other uh, rant was about meaning. Well, an atheist, there's no meaning to that world. He just makes the meaning whatever he wants to make it. Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? We don't go trying to force our meaning on other people. If, if the meaning of my life is to, I don't know, eat as many corn dogs as possible, which seems like a pretty damn good meaning to me, if that's the meaning of life for me, then I'm, I'm going to make that my meaning. And if you don't like corn dogs, you don't have to eat none. Because I don't try to say, this is the meaning of life objectively, and it applies to every single human being on this planet. I'm saying, my meaning is, I'm going to eat fucking corn dogs, and I think they're delicious, and that's what I'm going to do with my life, and I'm having fun. I don't go door to door with my corn dogs trying to get current converts. Uh, actually, that'd be kind of fun. Oh, well. The point is that... Uh, there's nothing wrong with making your own meaning. A meaning is a human idea to begin with. It's something that we've generated entirely. I mean, without human beings, things like meaning and happiness and sadness and sorrow and art, those things, those things are given meaning by us. 
we are the barometer of of what is meaningful. So it's it's solely contingent upon our existence and our perception of its existence. I don't know. It seems it seems like to me the only way a person could do what you're doing is to look at all the atheists and say, look at this hopeless bunch of losers and nihilists. Look how fucking lonely and stupid and ugh, I hate them. You have to have contempt for us to, to continue to hold such a video after having so much interaction with us. Because you know that we're not hopeless, desperate, sad, lonely people. At least not any more lonely, sad, and desperate than anyone else. We have hope. In fact, we have more hope than most because we're actually thinking maybe we can change this world. At least that enters my head every now and then. I say, maybe this place can change. Now, I'm not representative of everyone who is an atheist, uh, nor should I be, nor could I be. Uh, you know, plenty of atheists like uh, Fake Sagan and I don't know, maybe uh, Saturnine Films even believe that this world can't change, but I don't believe that. I think the world has changed, can change, will change forever until it's over. So I have hope. Do you?